Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another Adobe Lightroom Classic Editing Tutorial. In this video we are going to create some awesome bouquet balls using just a bit of masking in Lightroom. If you want to follow along the editing process you can find the link to the raw files in the description of the video. And now let's begin. So here we have the basic raw image. Let me say this effect only works on certain images. You can see we have an in focus subject with the tree branch and that tiny mushroom on top of it while the background is out of focus and buttery smooth. That's exactly what we want to add those bouquet balls, but first off, of course we have to do the basic adjustments. If you are just here for that special effect, check the chapters of the video to quickly navigate through it. To set up the base image I'm going to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Neutral which will give us a much more flat image to work with and it also will make everything a little brighter so that is really helping already. Next up I'd like to add some more magic like colors to this image so I'm going to play around with the white balance. I want to make everything a little colder so I'm bringing down the temperature just like that and I'm also going to bring down the tint giving everything more of a green color cast, just like that. At the same time, I do want to bring down the exposure. So we're going to make the whole shot a lot darker again. I just want to set up the mood by doing this. And at the same time, I'm going to bring down the contrast. Looking at this diagram, you can see everything is super, super dark. So let me change that by bringing up the highlights, which will mostly affect the mushroom itself, which is of course the important part of the image. So that's a lot better. I can then also add a little bit of clarity and some dehaze, since I think there's some strange fog lingering over the image. Let me try to fix that by bringing up the dehaze here. All right, that looks much, much better. And finally, we want to introduce some vibrance to get a very saturated image. Perfect. Now here we have the base adjustments. Still, the image is a little too dark, but I want to fix all of that with a bit of masking. So before I'm adding those bouquet balls, let me just fix the light situation. I am going to start with a linear gradient and I want some light coming in from the top so I'm going to create a linear gradient like that, coming in from the top left corner. Here I'm just going to boost the exposure. And I don't have to worry about anything since this mostly affects the background. So we're not going to lose any details due to noise in here if I push the exposure too much. I can continue working on this effect by using a few other masks like I'm going to use a radial gradient now just again in the upper corner, simulating the light coming down from above like this, pointing the radial gradient towards the mushroom. Again, I'm just raising the exposure. I actually want the center of that radial gradient to be outside the image so we get a natural looking glow effect, just like that. I think I'm going to turn up the exposure even more as I said, I don't have to worry about noise or anything in here. So let's raise it like that. If you want, of course, we can add noise reduction to counter any noise problems in here. Furthermore, I'd like to play around with the white balance in this case, since we can add a lovely color effect to this spot. So let's just bring up the temperature. And I'm going to make it really, really strong in here. I'm also going to drop the tint. So by adjusting the white balance, we have just added some very lovely green light to the top of the image. Let's tweak it further by using a different radial gradient. This time I'm making it a little smaller, but also again, place it just in the corner up here. And I'm raising the exposure even further to get a stronger light towards the corner of the image. So that looks almost like it's overexposed. I think that's a good spot right there. So for the light effect, that should be enough. Now let's use a radial gradient just for the top of the mushroom, giving it some more sharpness, just like that. Here I'm adding texture and I'm also adding some clarity. 
perfect. One more mask before I'm starting to add those bouquet balls. I'd like to add a brush and I'm just roughly covering the tree branch. I actually want to turn off auto mask for that purpose. This mask doesn't need to be that precise. Just like that. Okay, in here, let's raise the contrast. I'm also raising the highlights all the way up. Introduce some whites just to make it brighter. And finally, some clarity. All right, done. Now for those bouquet balls. As I said, a very important part for this effect is to have the right image. We're having an in-focus subject right here with a blurry background. For the next step, we simply need to create a radial gradient. And to create a perfect circle, I'm going to hold down the shift key while dragging up this radial gradient. Let's make it rather big like this. And I'm going to place it somewhere here, not too far away from the mushroom. Now, those bouquet balls are usually brighter than the surrounding areas. So that means we are just going to slightly increase the exposure to create the same effect. At first, you can see that is not very visible, but that's because we simply need to further adjust the mask. And what we need to adjust is the feather of the radial gradient. The bouquet balls usually have a pretty rough edge, so I'm going to lower the feather almost all the way. And as I'm lowering it, you can see how this area will get visible. So here we have a very first version of the bouquet ball. We can further tweak this by playing around with the feather, maybe make it a little softer. And I could also play around by subtracting a linear gradient from the bottom up. Maybe with a rougher edge as well. Just like that. So that's a pretty cool effect. If you want to add some more bouquet balls, simply choose the mask we just have added. And here I'm going to add another radial gradient. This time let's make it just a little smaller and let's maybe place it somewhere at the very top. Here I'm going to use a different amount for the feather just to give it a different look. That starts to look really cool. You can even overlap those bouquet balls. So instead of creating another radial gradient inside mask 6, we're just going to create a new mask and again choose radial gradient, just overlapping one of those bouquet balls like this and again raise the exposure. Playing with different exposure values will get you a more natural effect. So again, let's play around with the feather a bit and that's it. As you just saw, that's a super easy way to add this special effect to your images. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial part. However, I'm going to finish the editing for this shot. So if you want to stay, feel free to follow along. Next up, after the masking, as usual, I'm going to do the color grading. Let's go into the HSI panel for that. Here, I just want to adjust the saturation of the different color tones, adding some yellow, some green, a bit more of aqua and some blue as well. Perfect. Then I'm heading into the split toning panel. Here I do want to adjust the highlights, giving it a warm color tone. And let's raise the saturation very, very slightly. For the midtones, I'm going to use a different color tone somewhere in the yellow range, maybe even in the green range like that and bring up the saturation again. Finally, for the shadows, a cold color tone works great. So let's choose something blue like that and bring up the saturation again. Perfect. Finally, I do want to sharpen this image. So in the details tab, drop the radius, increase the details, add some masking, and finally introduce more sharpening. And that is pretty much it for the Lightroom adjustments for this image. Since this is a macro mushroom image, I also 
want to use some focal stacking, that just means I have different shots with different focal points for the mushroom. So I'm going to select them all down here and hit the synchronize buttons. So all the shots have the same editing effects on them. Make sure to check all and hit synchronize. I'm going to replace all the masks. And once that is done, I'm going to right click and go to edit in and choose Photoshop. Right on top here, you can see I have opened up all the images. So we need to copy them all into a single Photoshop file. So I'm just doing this by hitting Ctrl A and just Ctrl C, Ctrl V to pass the image. And I'm doing this for all the images until we get something that looks like this. Now, when I deactivate the layers, you can see they are not perfectly aligned, which will be a problem. In that case, we can simply select all the images, go to edit and here auto align the layers and just hit OK. Once that is done, you can see we have a perfectly aligned mushroom. Next up for the focus stacking, again, I'm selecting all the layers, go to edit and here I'm checking auto blend layers. Again, just hit OK. That is looking pretty good, except for this part up here on the mushroom. Not sure what's going on here. But to fix that, I'm simply going to use one of the images that is sharp on that area. Again, copy it and place it on top. Then I'm trying to align the mushroom again. Therefore, I'm just lowering the layer opacity. And I'm going to carefully place it on top of the other mushroom. Next up, I'm holding down the Alt key and click on the layer mask icon. So we're going to create a black layer mask. And with the right brush, I'm now going to paint over that black spot on the layer mask. So that is looking much, much better. That weird black spot is gone and the image is almost done. The last step is to just slightly crop it a little bit just to prevent any gaps which were caused by the focus stacking or the aligning of the layers. And now that we have done that, here is the finished image. I hope this editing tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.